Picture a generator, one that runs on water, not fuel. No noise, no pollution, just quiet, endless power. Imagine, no gasoline, no diesel, no smoke, just a machine making energy from water forever. Sounds impossible, right? That's what the world wants you to believe. The experts say it can't be done. They laugh, call it a hoax, say it breaks the laws of physics. But what if they're wrong? What if the answer isn't in a Western lab, but in a small village in Cameroon? This isn't science fiction, it's real. While the world built polluting power plants, one man in Africa quietly built the future. A revolution powered by water, changing everything we know about energy and who controls it. The people at the top aren't ready for this. They want you to dismiss it. Because if people believe a man with nothing could solve the world's energy problem, the whole system collapses. No more oil wars, no more resource fights, no more dependence on a system designed to keep you paying. This isn't just a machine, it's a declaration of independence. And it all started with one man who dared to believe in the impossible. Who is this man? Mba al -Madu. Not a PhD, not a millionaire. Just a villager from Cameroon who saw his community in darkness and decided to act. He grew up without reliable electricity. He saw children unable to study, businesses unable to grow. He wasn't after money or fame, he just wanted to bring light to his people. No fancy lab, no investors, just scraps, spare parts, and relentless determination. He faced doubt from everyone, even his neighbors. But he listened to his own conviction. He believed the answer was in water, the most abundant resource on Earth. He knew real change wouldn't come from outside help, it had to come from within. Against all odds, he built a beacon of hope. Not just a generator, but a statement. Ingenuity isn't confined to the wealthy, and the future belongs to those who dare to build it. So, how does it work? Mba Almadou's invention is stunningly simple. It uses a small amount of water to create a pressure cycle in a closed loop. The machine powers itself, generating surplus energy for homes and businesses. Built from cheap, available parts, it costs a fraction of traditional power plants. Anyone can build it. No engineers required. It's a democratic technology. Power for the people, not corporations. No complex grids, no endless bills. Just a box that quietly delivers energy. It's not perpetual motion, but a brilliant, efficient cycle. One-time cost, lifetime of energy. Simple, cheap, and revolutionary. When experts finally saw it, they were stunned. No hidden fuel, no trick. Their first question, where's the patent? You could be rich. But Mba Almadou wasn't interested in patents or profit. He wanted the knowledge to be free, shared, improved, and spread from village to village. This mindset is alien to the corporate world. By refusing to patent, he made a radical statement. Power should be a right, not a privilege. A patented generator could be buried by big companies. An open source idea? Unstoppable. Emba didn't just invent a machine. He sparked a movement of cooperation and shared progress. Alright, so carefully watch this opening act video clip. It's one out of three, and I'll be back with you shortly afterwards. Voilà. Là, c'est moi-même qui branche. Apportez-moi la rallonge. C'est moi-même qui branche. Là, on voit que ça sort en 220 volts. Allez, je vais brancher ça. N'est-ce pas? Allez. On a entendu le bruit déjà. Ça. Ok. Est-ce qu'on peut allumer ça? Allume ça. Juste. Donne-moi le feu. Approche-toi. Voilà. Là, on peut voir que ça fonctionne. On peut voir que ça fonctionne. Il n'y a aucun bruit. Maintenant, il va ajouter un deuxième ventilateur. S'il vous plaît, apportez-moi la rallonge. Là, c'est le ventilateur ici. Voilà ça qui est en train de tourner. Pardon, apportez-moi un écran, une télé. Apportez-moi une télé. Avec le ventilateur là. Voilà. Allumez la télé. Il y a la télé qui s'est allumée. Ne criez pas, calmez-vous. Voilà la télé qui s'est allumée. Et jusqu'à présent, il n'y a aucun bruit. Voilà, fais le tour, fais le tour, fais le tour, fais le tour. Voilà. 
et, et, et justement, on peut même remarquer, voilà, et, et ça c'est le prototype. L'eau qui, qui fuit comme vous pouvez voir là, c'est juste parce qu'il n'a pas eu le, le, le bon bouchon pour fermer. Voilà, voilà le prototype, voilà la machine. Let me get this straight. You think this is the real deal? Oh, just wait until you watch the next clip. It's really going to open the veil of political hypocrisy and big energy cooperation. I'm pretty sure you're starting to question everything now. Every lie about green energy propaganda tells you the goal is to show the donkey a pile of carrots so it'll never stop walking. This What does this mean for the world? It's not just about lights. It's about freedom. Hospitals can store vaccines. Schools can teach at night. Businesses can thrive. Communities are freed from expensive fuel and unreliable grids. Farmers can irrigate. Women can start businesses. Families can dream bigger. This is a paradigm shift, self-sufficiency, opportunity, and hope. Decentralized power breaks the chains of dependency. In places using these generators, lives are already changing. This is the real story. Innovation, resilience, and liberation, one generator at a time. So why haven't you heard this story? Because it's dangerous to those in power. The global energy industry is built on scarcity and control. Emba's generator threatens their entire business model. If people can generate their own clean energy, who needs oil or utility bills? The stakes are massive, trillions of dollars, entire empires. That's why stories like this get buried, inventors ignored or silenced. The battle isn't just for energy, it's for the future. They want you to forget. We can't let that happen. This is bigger than one man or one invention. It's part of a movement, a revival of Africa's ancient ingenuity. For centuries, Africa was a cradle of innovation, its knowledge suppressed but never lost. Now a new generation is rising, solving problems with their own hands and minds. From tech hubs to remote villages, young Africans are building a future rooted in community and sustainability. They're not copying the West, they're creating something new. The world's most valuable resource isn't oil, it's human ingenuity, and Africa has it in abundance. This is the revolution the world isn't ready for. The next big change won't come from Silicon Valley, it'll come from a village in Cameroon. Africa is ready to lead, and they don't need anyone's permission. Tell me what you think in the comments section. Before you go, there is one fact that is structured to plunge your Africans and world disruptive inventors and innovators into mud. These are the new religions. They now your skepticism and their high priest and police are trolls.